Joe here again with Fridley, Minnesota's Hilltop Camper and RV, and we're excited to announce that we are now an Intech dealer. And today we're going to be going over the 2021 Intech Terra. This is the Rover edition, so I'll kind of point out some of those differences on the package. So we're going to start up here on the front end of the trailer. So on the Intex, it is an all aluminum frame cage, fully enclosed that way. This is all on fiberglass for the walls. And this uh, particular model does have a fiberglass roof as well. You have a power tongue jack. And on this particular model, this is the, one of the only Intex that you can run a weight distribution hitch. And that's why you'll see these extra plates welded on here. Uh, the Rover package is a two inch lift with off-road tires and also this black um, propane tank cover here on the front. So yes, your propane tanks are tucked in, kind of hidden away from the elements and the road debris and stuff like that. Now moving down the side of the trailer, you can kind of see the right, uh, higher ride height here. Again, that is a two inch lift. The nice aggressive tires give it a really good look. And again, if you fall on below, you can see all the aluminum framework. These things are really cool looking. And moving on to the back, you do have an external gas port right here that runs off your two front propane tanks. Um, LED lights if you need to get into your storage compartment here. Um, there is an option on these to run a pull out um, kitchen and fridge. So that light would come in handy for that. This here is a cover for your front windshield. It snaps on so in transit you don't uh, get any rocks or debris into that nice big beautiful windshield. Uh, rear bumper that is part of the Rover, I believe, as well. And then the two inch receiver rated at 100 pounds for cargo carrying. And of course, your four point um, stabilizer jacks, which are manual, but most people just run a drill with a socket on them. So follow me, we'll take a look inside. All right, coming inside, you can see the new kind of innovative design, very modern looking. Um, that front windshield is awesome, especially if you get to see it outside in the daylight, your view is phenomenal. Um, nice blue LED accent lightings, you have blackout roller shade. And one thing I find kind of cool, it's, it's a little thing, but there's ball bearings in here. So this actually flexes. So it'll hug behind the angle of the front of the cushions rather than just being a big stick in there and not quite close tight. Um, all the cabinetry work in here is solid with a high gloss finish. Again, lots of accent lights. And a lot of these cabinets, not every single one of them will have soft close hinges. You have this particular one has the um, lithium package with the solar panels and controller. Your two lithium batteries are stowed away underneath this bench. There's two vents covers you can kind of see there. So that's all internal, out of the way, not fiddle around with it outside if you ever had to. Big barn style sink, stainless steel. Uh, this here is just a drying rack. And over here we have a convection oven which is huge, lots of space. It doesn't really look like your standard camper oven at all. And we have the Dometic two burner stove, nice and it's uh, sunken into the counter so it looks nice and flush with the glass cover as your counter saver. Up above the kitchen, you'll have your inverter and controller. Um, so that's all standalone, very easy to access right behind a cabinet. Over here, you've got your TV or one of your two. Your other fuse panel for your main systems is up here with your battery disconnect switch. And as you can see, the soft close hinge there. All your tank monitor, tank heaters, and your radio are up here with Bluetooth. Your fridge in this is a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. So again, very big fridge for a smaller trailer. Uh, this is 26 foot long and 46 to 4,800 pounds in weight. So it's very light, very easy to pull. And walking back down the hallway, one thing I find really cool with this is your bathroom and shower are on opposite sides. So on this side, you, you have your toilet with a sink. It is a porcelain based toilet. Um, lots of extra storage with built-in bungees to kind of help stuff from sliding around as you travel. And one overhead compartment. There's a window in here with uh, both day and night shades. In the shower, they do have a mirror on the back side of the door which is an exterior door with uh, rubber seals. So you don't need to worry about water leaking outside of the shower area. Um, there's two prods in there to hang up towels or clothes and a mesh uh, short shower organizer to put your stuff in. Pretty clean, pretty simple, looks extremely modern. And as we come into the bedroom, you do have a full queen. It's more of those blue accent lights there. You have power and USB on either side of the bed. Windows on both sides for a nice cross breeze. Uh, day and night shades. 
your second television set. And then underneath the bed, your storage is huge. And they also have the water pump access right in the corner of the bed so you don't have to pull screws and dig around compartments to try to find your access to that. Uh, the water heater is also in the kitchen under the sink, very easy to access. So for winterizing or if you were to have any issues down the road, it's very easy to find both those locations. And if you take a look underneath the bed frame itself, you can see the solid wood construction with the angle screws. This, this thing's built like a tank. And above the bed, you have a 12 volt max air fan with a rain sensor to kind of help that cross breeze and that ventilation throughout the entire trailer. Thanks again for watching guys. Again, I'm Joe in Fridley, Minnesota at Hilltop Camper and RV. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out and hope to see you soon.